Anne-Marie, second day of Oshkosh. The crowds have been insane, even with, after a little rain this morning. But a lot of them are coming to see what may be the star of the show. The DA50RG is here. We've been waiting for it for a while. There were aspects of this aircraft that were talked about for many years. We even did a big feature, gosh, over a decade ago about one particular prototype, which was very promising. But one thing's been interesting about this time. Execution has definitely turned into something incredible. And more important than anything else, this airplane looks ready to go out and take on a few of Brand C. Tell me all about how you're doing with the DA-50RG. We expect this aircraft to be a huge hit on this market. Um, this one in particular has had a long voyage behind it already. It came over the Atlantic to make it here for Oshkosh. We're excited to have it here. You can see that people are, are loving the aircraft. There's a lineup to get in all day long. This aircraft in particular, we've been highly anticipating its arrival. It's here, you're right. I think it's gonna be the star of the show. Talk to us about some of the primary features of this airplane, especially what makes it different from most of what we've seen in the high performance market. Obviously, up front is a big deal. Yeah, yeah exactly. So up front, you've got the Continental CD300, 300 horsepower V6 engine. It roars at you. It's jet fuel powered, so it sticks with our concept of developing that jet fuel line. She's not all that thirsty. She's uh, around 16 to 18 gallons, depending on how you set the power. She just sips away and keeps going. And fuel capacity and range? So range, you're looking about 700 miles to 750, depending on how you set it. What's the availability program going to be for North America for the next year or so? Yeah, so the aircraft is still undergoing FAA validation. We applied for it, we're waiting for that to happen, and we expect that to be received sometime mid next year. Once that's received, we've already got 10 slots available for next year's deliveries, and then we expect to grow from there. I gotta ask, how much? It is 1.15 base price. Okay. These are all still gonna be built overseas for the foreseeable future, or are they coming over here to uh, Canada? The goal is to have them built in Canada. Okay. Now. This airplane took a while, and it's not a criticism per se because there's a bunch of folks who have rushed airplanes into production and we know how that went. What were the decision factors that ultimately led to this configuration? This aircraft was uh, meant to still stay within the diamond philosophy, so it's still a safe aircraft. We have not moved to a wet wing. We still have dual wing spars that protect the fuel cells. It's a fully carbon fiber build. Um, you've still got the same interior safety features, so the seats with the crash elements and the pedals that move the seats that are fixed. It's very much within the diamond philosophy and built around safety, but you have more space than aircraft that uh, it's being compared to, a lot more cabin space. All of our aircraft that have the jet fuel powered engines are FETA controlled as well, so you've just got that single lever operation, push it forward, you go, pull it back, you don't, and it's just super easy to operate. And final question, how is the reception? What are you hearing from people who are looking over the airplane? And more important, have you sold any yet? So uh, we have uh, attributed some slots to our dealers. We have not had a briefing as of noon today, but I have heard of some sales go through. So this is pretty exciting for us. It's a good launch. Um, and in terms of outcome, I mean, like I said earlier, there are so many people lined up to see this aircraft all day long. It's the busiest booth we've seen in, in many, many years.